Hey people, it's me Tori and welcome back, or welcome if you are new to my channel. Today we are creating another sim in The Sims 4 and yes, I am a little bit on a roll with sims videos at the minute, which is cool. I mean, my whole channel originated from sims videos, that's what I exclusively used to post so it's kind of exciting that The Sims has kind of piqued my interest again recently and that is for two reasons. One, I am so excited about the new update and expansion pack that we're going to get next month. So exciting, less than a month away. I cannot wait for The Sims 4 Growing Together expansion pack. Like, I cannot wait. When I say it's the most excited I've been about a Sims pack in such a long time, I mean it's the most excited I've been in a long time. But also, I got some new custom content after literally, like, two years. So, if you're new to my channel or you didn't know, I haven't downloaded any custom content in like two years because I originally had a laptop which I played Sims on and it wasn't a very good laptop or anything but it was like the best thing that I could get at the time and that's what I used to play The Sims on and I used to download lots of custom content and it was a good time until I downloaded so much custom content that my computer just couldn't take it anymore and I also went on a website which gave my computer a virus which means means it stopped working. So eventually, fast forward, I had that computer fixed once and then managed to break it again. So I eventually got a gaming PC and I was too scared to get a virus on my gaming PC. So rightfully I was cautious and, you know, just didn't download any custom content. But finally, I downloaded some custom content and I've also bought an antivirus now which I mean is about time because it's kind of essential. I don't exactly want to break my gaming PC so I bought an antivirus which is good because I have a little bit more peace of mind when it comes to downloading Sims custom content and it means I can download more Sims custom content which means I am more inspired to do Creator Sims again because I used to love doing Creator Sims so much back in the early days of my channel and I just haven't really done that many. I mean I did post a lookbook on Valentine's Day, I posted a Galentine's Day lookbook. I loved doing that one so much, like I had so much fun doing that lookbook. But I downloaded some more CC again and there are some things I got, mainly like skin details and stuff and eyebrows. They're a little bit on the alpha side but I don't mind because I think I've realised that I want to go towards the whole Maxis Mix kind of style of Sims. I do on the whole for the most part prefer Maxis Match kind of style stuff but I like having a teeny bit of realism in there. So there's some skins that you can get that are slightly more on the alpha side but they're not realistic enough to look strange with Maxis Match stuff and I like some of the alpha makeups because they can be really good especially the eyeshadows and the eyeliners. I'm not such a huge fan of the lipsticks because sometimes I feel like the lip texture looks a little bit too I don't know scary and a bit realistic so I'm not really such a huge fan of that but I like some kind of alpha stuff. Some accessories are quite nice as well. There's a lot of alpha CC accessory creators. So I'm slightly evolving in my style. Which is honestly about time because I've had the same style for ages. But I realise we're coming up to the end of the video and I've barely even talked about this sim. Basically for this creator sim I went for a cottage core aesthetic. I want to make lots of different sims inspired by different aesthetics so this is my cottage core sim and she's called Josie and she's cheerful and maker and loves the outdoors and honestly one of my favorite creator sims that I have done in a long time so if you enjoyed this video please be sure to like and comment and subscribe and I hope you all have an amazing lovely day and I'll see you all next time bye everyone